All right, guys, let's talk about the Seattle Mariners. Just like I said, they're about four games out with uh, 11 games left to play. They need a ton of help. They need both the Angels and the Twins to go stone cold and the Mariners to almost win out because they're a bit too far out to, to really make some hay down the stretch here. So just kind of give me your thoughts on, on what's going on so far this season. Um, I've, I think it's just, it's like we said last week, the pitching has been has the injuries to the pitching staff has kind of hindered us from making any big strides um, anywhere. But um, I guess the the offense has been good. I think some of the moves that DePoto has made have been okay, um, like uh, getting the Yonder Alonso um, s- signing. But um, like Christian, like you were saying last week, uh, getting a Rosmo for Steve Shishek, Shishek, that was you know questionable, <clears throat> but I think um, going forward, you know you got Cano. I still say you hold on to Cruz. Um, I guess my kind of hot take we were, we were talking about this on the break was trading Felix because I think there is a hopeless team out there that still believes in Felix and that he has um, something left in the tank. And I guess I mean. As a Mariners fan, I w- would like to believe that he's got something left in the tank. Um, but I think you got to get rid of him. You you don't you don't release him because you could still could possibly get something. Um, you so, still owe him money too. Yeah, you really you can't just outright drop a player like the NFL. Like contracts are contracts. And I know people owe that money. So and for that to happen, he'd have to waive his no trade clause too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And. Whether he would be willing to waive the no trade clause or something, that would be, you know, we don't really know because we the Mariners have never really explored the option of trading him. But um, you know, I really like Mike Leake, what he's done. Uh, I saw he's he's got a 2.13 ERA right now um, in his four starts with the Mariners, and we have him signed through um, 2020. So that could be, you know, that could be. I think he's got top of the rotation stuff um we'll see i i still i can't believe in paxton he's he's been hurt way too much but i do believe we bring him back next year um you let kuma go um but i think you got to re-sign smiley to what we saw in the world baseball classic was he went out and dominated there but we never got to see that um every pitcher i feel like in today's today's world goes through tommy john and they seem to come back fine and what Smiley showed before he had Tommy John was he was pretty dang good. So we just need we need to address pitching, starting pitching in the off season, and um, I think we could maybe squeeze one more year out of Cano and Cruz and um, Seager. You know he had kind of a downer year this year, but um, you know him he's gonna bring that blue collar mentality and go into the off season and do a lot of work. So um, I don't know that's kind of my I guess a summary on the season and what they should do heading forward into the off season. I know there is going to be moves knowing DePoto. He is going to make some moves, whether they be good or bad. We'll see. Seth, what do you, give me your thoughts real quick. I think this whole season has been a missed opportunity. The AL has not been very good this year. There's really only four teams running away with it. The Indians, Red Sox, Astros, and Yankees. So I think it's just a missed opportunity. The Mariners easily could have wrapped up one of the wild card spots, but they've just hovered right around 500 the whole year. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree with that more. I think that there's absolutely no reason why this team should did what they did. I and mean, there's there's no reason the Twins and the Angels should be ahead of us in the standings. There's no way those rosters are better than ours. No, here's here's my thing. Okay, it, I really didn't get upset with what Jerry DePoto has done with the roster until the last day of waiver trades. I think that was uh, August, last day of August anyway, when the Astros made a trade for Justin Verlander. And then in that same day, about the same hour, it seemed like the Angels went ahead and added Brandon Brandon Phillips and Justin Upton. Mm-hmm. All three of those moves are, are moves that make those teams significantly better than they were before they had those players. Mariners moves Throughout the season, injuries or not, I don't really care. They were all just so lateral. You mentioned the Erasmo Ramirez for Steve Shishek. That's a lateral move. All you do is get a couple extra innings out of a pitcher. Erasmo's been good for the Mariners. 
but so had Steve Ciszek been. Yeah. It's just, it's true. I mean, just lateral. It, let's stay where we are. Just get a different guy to get a different guy is what it felt like. That that's kind of my take with what he has done throughout the season. I get that the injuries are an easy cop out, but to me, that's what they are—an easy cop out. I mean, he didn't make the team any better with anything that he did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you're. I mean, yeah, you're definitely right. But he he has given the Mariners, you know, a couple quality starts. Um, uh, he's been good. Yeah. But, I mean, it just why? Yeah, I I don't know. It just it it was just kind of a meh trade. Like exactly. Just something to stay in the news. Um, something to give the Mariners newsworthy. Um, but, I, I mean, I, I haven't lost hope in DePoto. He, I do like that he's making more moves than none. Um, you know, baseball can be a long season and people can lose interest. But when you make trades like that, you're like, oh, okay. Like, you, you said, I mean, we didn't get any worse, you don't think, right? Didn't get any worse, but you didn't get any better. Yeah. So it's it the same be, thing with the Marco Gonzalez for Tyler O'Neill. I mean, it didn't get any worse, didn't get any better. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. just got. Yeah. So it could be just something to move people around, and it could be just like a PR move to show that he is still trying. The Mariners are still trying. Maybe it's sending a message. If you're not getting any worse, then you're just you're staying the same. It could just be like, hey, we're still here, we're still trying, something like that. Yeah, I I get that, and I don't all at once. I mean, it's just. just I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, why not just keep those pe- players and see how they turn out? Yeah, that, that's that's true you're too. You're basically doing that with what you get in return. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what's happening? I I don't know. I mean, you're just spinning your wheels. Yeah, he's made. I think he's literally moved 185 players mm-hmm. in two years. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think they're just kind of stuck. Really, he doesn't have any decent prospects to flip for some talented major league talent. So. He's just kind of stuck in this cycle of trading average players for other mediocre players. There's not a whole lot he can do there. Mm-hmm. Yep, totally. It is a tough deal 